Come and get your love. Hell, hell. What's the matter with your head? Yeah. I love that one too. <laughs> you're brilliant, you're brilliant, really. Oh, thank you. And this character is such a funny character, a tender character, yeah. really, yeah. Yeah, probably um, the most innocent character I've ever played. Provengo dalla Terra, un pianeta di fuori legge. Il mio nome è Peter Quill. Ma forse mi conoscete meglio con un altro nome. Star Lord. Chi? Star Lord, andiamo, il leggendario fuori legge. Ragazzi. Lascia stare. Every time a new comic would come out, a new incarnation of the Guardians of the Galaxy, they wouldn't go back to the previous Guardians of the Galaxy to inform them what they wanted to do. They would operate from a creative place and create a whole new set of stories. And I think that's what we're doing here. We're, we're just coming from an original place, creating a whole new set of stories. It just happens to be in the medium of cinema rather than the comic book. It's still part of the Marvel Universe. And, you know, we're trying to stay true to the fans because there are some deep fans who know exactly everything there is to know about these characters. Gamora, soldato, assassino, ricercato per oltre una dozzina di omicidi. She is a bit of a moral compass for them. Um, you know, Gamora, even though she's an assassin and she was raised by a very evil, evil man, she has a great sense of justice. And that is what compels her to move away and try to seek a better life. And then she comes across with these, with these renegades, uh, who she hates in the beginning, but they all have to stick together in order for them to survive. Uh, uh, she, she does tend to sort of say things that they kind of think about, and that was, that was the good thing about her character, for sure. Drax, detto il distruttore, da quando sua moglie e la sua famiglia sono state uccise, si è scatenato nella galassia in cerca di vendetta. I think the biggest challenge was really just kind of being involved in a production so big. I mean, so much bigger than anything I'd ever done, and, and I was also, you know, now all of a sudden I'm working with, uh, World known actors, you know, it was just very challenging because I didn't want, you know, I wanted to hold my own. I wanted to go and, and I didn't want to, uh, I didn't want other people to feel like they were carrying me throughout the scenes or that I was going to be messing up their scenes. Uh, so I think just overall, the, you know, the challenge was and, and the work, you know, mm -hmm. the work as an actor. Eccoci qui. Un ladro. Due criminali. Un assassino. È un maniaco. Non ce ne staremo lì impalati mentre il male stermina la galassia. Ci tocca stare insieme. Soci. Stai dicendo che il destino di 12 miliardi di persone è nelle mani di questi teppisti? Oh, sì. Green is not an easy color to sell. As pretty. Uh, pink is, red is fire too, so it's sort of sensual, but green is just, I mean, vegetables are green and not everybody likes vegetables. <laughs> so I was very aware that we, we, had, we had a task ahead of us. Uh, so we, we did a lot of camera tests trying to find the right shade of green and then we found it. And it was important for me that, that the fanboys uh, and fangirls as well uh, felt that, uh, felt, found, found, would find me beautiful. Groot, di recente viaggia come pianta d'appartamento, trattino, scagnozzo di rocca. It was a character that I didn't have facial expressions to use or body physicalities. Um, I only had my voice, but unlike characters like Gollum or other characters that are voiced in movies, I had a limitation to my vocabulary. Three monosyllabic words was it. That's all I could use. And yet, I was responsible for conveying so much emotion and so much meaning. Uh, he's such an interesting character in that he is saying so much more, and yet most people are oblivious to the nuances of his speech, so all they can hear is, I am Groot. And that was very challenging. The director was very ambitious about the character, so much so that when I went into the recording booth, there was a 50-page document, and on the left-hand side of the page, it said, I am Groot. On the right-hand side of the page, it would have a paragraph of what the real line would be if 
you could understand the subtleties and the nuances in his speech. Se mi guardo intorno, sai chi vedo? Sfigati. Ma la vita ci offre un'occasione. Per fare cosa? Qualcosa di buono. Di cattivo. Un po' di tutto. Oh, tanto la mia vita sarebbe comunque breve. I'm not a good singer, but uh, yeah, Peter does have a compilation tape and music does play a giant part in this movie. It's really the emotional core of the movie. Peter Quill's cassette tape is his last uh, remnant of Earth and, and the, 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 the only connection he has to his uh, late mother. Sono Groot. Non esiste niente come me, tranne me. Si fanno chiamare i guardiani della galassia. Forse non è l'idea migliore.